I would like to spend some time here focusing on this negative sign and its meaning. This minus sign is sometimes referred to as Lenz's Law. And what it's basically saying is that the electric field that is set up is going to cause current to travel if you have a wire there. We'll assume we have a wire in place here, a circular wire ready to do a current for us. It'll set up the current so that it opposes the changing magnetic field flux. Now here's a magnetic field that is upward. Now let's suppose that magnetic field should increase. So B dot is upward also. If that's the case, the current with your right hand rule will flow this way. In other words, stick your thumb down to oppose this. If your right thumb goes down, then your curved fingers will go along this red current, which will oppose the original current here that has to increase. See, this original black current sets up the black B field. And when this black current increases, that's when you get your B dot. And if that's the case, a thumb goes down to oppose this, and if the thumb goes down, the right hand fingers curl this way, and that's the induced current. Suppose the black vector that points up is decreasing. Well, then you put your thumb upward, and that gives you a current flowing to oppose that the current flows this way. So if this eye, this black eye should be decreasing, then the current sets up to increase it to do the opposite. If this black current is increasing, then we have to oppose it by moving against it. This way, if it's decreasing, we say you can't decrease, we gotta keep you going. Uh, here we have the current flowing the opposite way because the magnetic field's pointing down. And if you increase the magnetic field in an upward direction, in a sense you're decreasing this current, and then this current gets up saying, no, 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 you can't do that, we're gonna help you. And when you put your thumb down, your curved fingers will again agree with that red. The thumb will, right thumb will always oppose the B dot. And this last case here, we have the current going uh, from the top clockwise, which, which sets up the magnetic field going down using your right hand rule, pointing your thumb down, your curved right hand goes this way. And if you're increasing that going down, we have to put our thumb upwards, always opposing the B dot, which sets up the red current to go the other way. Nature always opposes you. This is not a new thing. If you push a block to the left, the friction wants to push to the right. So up here, when you try to increase the current in one direction, you get an opposition and vice versa. And this is Lenz's law, this opposition. Uh, here's another example. First and second law of thermodynamics. Uh, no free lunches and you can't break even. This is the first law of conservation of energy. And the second law is you must waste some energy. So this is analogous to our friction, uh, where we lose uh, let useful energy into friction, heating up. And in the case of thermodynamics, nature working against us, you have to dump, you have to lose some of your energy in this nice little engine diagram. Here's the energy that comes in. And the second law says the law of entropy that you must waste some, makes more disorder and this is your useful work your wasted energy is your thermal pollution and while we're talking about things working against you let's not forget murphy's law if anything can go wrong it will